Enlightenment and scientific revolution began the most prime years of humanity's innovation since the primitive hand tools of our struggled past became the glorious tools of industry. It all began in 1800s Britain, fueled by a vast empire of hand-operated looms, which became looms powered by water with intricate machinery and gave rise to the outburst in intellectual and visionaries of the time. The labors of the body and earth became engines of metal, reducing physical stress from low-tier labor and reliance on the sky's breath and beasts alike. No horse, not even sail, limits us at this prestige point in time. Only our minds limit us until we allow them to grow. Hunting grounds became railroads, bringing meat and vegetation from the farthest and most exotic lands for good value. Consumers bought products like jackrabbit on tobacco chew. Even medicines for all illnesses were sold in hopes of trade. Some seem to work and some sadly do not work immediately, but the merchants and labels don't lie, unless they do. But nevertheless, illegit salesmen started great things and sold the clothes on your backs with intricate seams you may have ignored, as it seems to be a given fact in life in today's Britain. People attempted wild things like motorized men and horseless motorized carriages. Despite the outrageousness of the time, the motorized carriage was eventually a success and gave us no need to muck out the stables. Motorized men, men were far from complete, but at least someday we'll achieve it. Maybe it will become a reality in the 21st or 22nd century. Automata should replace slave labor and our labors completely in those years, but for now the Americas are busy with Negro folk while we have harbored honest labor. Children join the framework of the modernized workforce, away from the corn and cattle, with their tiny hands and boundless energy, work of the precise kind gets done. Even the humbled housewife, now out of the domestic life, seems to join the action. Men still work as, as is their duty, but with the ease of that their family is there for the ride, with jobs requiring more delicate touch. Word has it that slaves of the Americas have been given tools of industry. They call it a cotton gin. We may need something like that for our cotton-producing colonies of Southwest Asia. One could hope for more cotton cloth. Wool is very scratchy. I'm hopeful of the future of the British Empire, and I share the world's new and new investments in technology, and we'll all bring about a brighter future.